when we talk about how important exercise is, it is for mental health because we get all this endorphin release, we get all this dopamine, we get our chemicals and our hormones get to do what they're supposed to do. The problem is the more often we do that, the more wear and tear we put on the body to get that release. So the release is good, the wear and tear is still bad. Mm -hmm. And we're still left with all those acids from the wear and tear just trying to get that release. If I can manage the acids for you, you can keep exercising. More importantly, if I can keep that dopamine and all those hormones and things flowing the way that they're supposed to, your mental health is going to be stable. So I don't want people dumping their body full of acid. It feels great now because the endorphins are out, the dopamine's going. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow you can't move. Now we've got different things going through your brain. Now we've got acid going over the nerve tissues in the brain. So when we talk about dementia, Alzheimer's, and all these other all the other things that have to do with the brain, nice, fresh, oxygenated, clean, healthy, nutritious blood works better for mental health mm -hmm. than acidic, worn out, filled with lactic acid, and tired blood. Right. And so when we're trying to repair the neurosensors in the brain, the cleaner the blood, the better. Cleaning comes during recovery, not during work messes everything up. It's how we recover that's going to matter.